to date, glioblastoma is still uh, an aggressive tumor, and uh, to date, no efficacy drugs uh, are uh, against this uh, uh, aggressive tumor. Uh, we performed a trial called REGOMA, uh, studying uh, regorafenib drug uh, versus uh, lomiostin, that is uh, actually uh, is uh, really the, the standard of treatment for uh, second line glioblastoma. And uh, this is a randomized study, uh, a multi-center study, and uh, 10 centers in Italy were involved in, uh, in this study. Uh, we used uh, regorafenib because uh, we know that glioblastoma is uh, a highly uh, angiogenesis uh, tumor and, uh, and so regorafenib uh, is a drug uh, against uh, oncogenesis and uh, stromal invasion. And so, uh, regorafenib is an optimal drug for this setting of uh, patients. And so we performed this study. Okay. And how did it go? What were the outcomes? The, uh, the end point, the primary end point, uh, was uh, the overall survival. And in the study, there, there were uh, secondary end point, uh, such as uh, progression-free survival, quality of life, uh, and uh, safety. Uh, very interesting is that uh, the primary endpoint uh, uh, overall survival uh, was met. Uh, indeed, uh, a patient treated with regorafenib had a, a statistically significant longer overall survival compared to the, uh, the lomustin harm. Uh, indeed, uh, these patients had a median overall survival of uh, 6.5 months compared to uh, 5.5 months. Uh, but uh, very interesting is the 12-month uh, overall survival because uh, uh, the patient treated with regorafenib had almost uh, three times higher uh, compared to uh, lobinostin arm. And so it's very important because uh, uh, there, were, there was a subgroup of patients responding to regorafenib uh, probably the regorafenib uh, effective is uh, with stable disease and so a subset of patients had a stable disease uh, during the, the treatment. Okay. And in terms of uh, toxicity, any related events? Regorafenib uh, in general was a well tolerated treatment uh, and the toxicity was uh, as expected. Indeed, uh, in other type of tumors, such as colorectal cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, uh, the toxicity was uh, higher than uh, uh, the toxicity uh, saw in this uh, trial. And, uh, and moreover, the toxicity was uh, manageable, and, uh, and so uh, most of patients continued the, the treatment. Uh, about 65% uh, of patients had a grade 3 4 toxicity, but uh, it was uh, manageable and in particular it was due to uh, hepatic toxicity, but uh, very manageable. Okay. And uh, just to check, in terms of approvals and availability, is regorafenib ready to deploy? Is it clinic ready? Uh, but now, in the, in the future, we, we would uh, perform a, a phase-free study to confirm the, the results uh, so in this phase two trial. And uh, very important is to identify the, the patients responding uh, better to this drug. And so uh, very important uh, is the, to find the molecular predictor or clinical factors uh, to sign, to uh, in, uh, focus the patients, uh, the good patient uh, to treat with this uh, drug. Okay, are there plans for this biomarker analysis then? Yeah, uh, we, we, uh, we studied uh, eight bi biomarkers involved in the metabolism, uh, analyzed the, the tissue uh, and uh, focus the research on uh, eight biomarkers involved in the metabolism of the tumor, in particular in the glucose metabolism, because 
regorafenib uh, may uh, interfere with uh, this, uh, this metabolism. And uh, we, we saw uh, that uh, this metabolism could uh, improve the efficacy of, uh, uh, of uh, regorafenib. Okay. Well, that covers all my questions. Is there anything else to add? Any? Uh, uh, my comment is that uh, this is one of the, um, the study uh, in this aggressive tumor demonstrating an activity and the efficacy uh, of a new drug. Uh, in this case, uh, regorafenib. And uh, in the last years, uh, about 10, uh, 10 years, uh, no drugs were, uh, were uh, uh, founded uh, with these results. And so it's very interesting, these results. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, this uh, result uh, would be, will be validated in a subsequent uh, phase three study.